Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Cards Against Humanity. I am your winner, Mathis Games, and with me, we've got a Roomba, Quill, and Enter Elysium. How's it going, fellas? Hey, folks. Second. I was second. It's I not... think I was last. I'm not sure. So, so I high. think you were last, and none of it was first, so it doesn't matter. Being a winner just means that your next loss is going to sting that much more, Mathis. And if I win again, it feels that much better. Oh. So I am the card czar to start. Let's get going. Blank. High five, bro. Uh, uh. <laughs> good, good, good beginning. We're all such bros here. All right, there. Done. <laughs> Arumba was the only one that was remotely a bro back in his day. Uh, let's see. Multiple stab bro, wounds. Bro Roomba. Bro Roomba. Multiple stab wounds. High five, bro. Repression. High five, bro. Cheating in the <laughs> Special Olympics. High five, bro. <laughs> oh, that one's an easy, immediate win. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's an early win right there. That's an early lead. You might have wanted mm. to held on to that one to like a... Uh, well, I am winning by a infinity percent. So. That's true. That's true. All right. In the new DLC for Mass Effect, Shepard must save the galaxy from... Hmm. Uh, uh, all right. Came so close last time. I don't want to lose by two points again. <laughs> I just want to get okay. more than three. If I can get more than three points, that'd be great. <laughs> In the new DLC for Mass Effect, Shepard must save the galaxy from a homemade, <laughs> cum-stained Star Trek uniform. Gross. It's a really powerful the Mongols one. or hipsters. <laughs> well, I get the CK2 reference because, you know, we got, the, we got the CK2 cards. They don't usually seem to fit with all the other cards, you know? Like, very obviously, it's true. King's two it's cards. True. Um, I'm going to go with hipsters. Yes. Ooh, oh no. Your infinity is now twice as big. It's true. Oh, yeah. It hurts. Double infinity. Double infinity. Oh, nope, this one again. Oh, God. Billy Mays here, here for blank. I think I'd have a good one for that. Yeah, we should probably do the disclaimer again that this is totally not safe for work. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, no, no, for sure. <laughs> if if the cum stained Star Trek uniform hadn't given that away, <laughs> you know, might, or, they might have got an inkling. Yeah. Mm. Not safe for work, not safe for life. Not safe for being near your partner and watching or laughing at. <laughs> <laughs> Billy May is here for you must construct additional pylons. <laughs> Billy May is here for leprosy. Billy Mays here for fear itself. Well, on the basis of the fact that it's in all caps, I feel like yeah. you must construct additional pylons there. Also, you hear that so much playing StarCraft. I know, I know. Not I me, was, though. I'm, I was going for the Blizzard. caps. No, that was good. So basically, you won via consistent grammar. Correct. Yeah. We are really awesome people. That's why we're not bros anymore. Going for consistent sure. grammar for our wins. Uh, something is a slippery slope that leads to something. Hmm. These multiple card ones are the hardest. I feel like you mm. kind of waste waste two good cards trying, or you just throw stuff out. Yep. Yeah. Not wearing pants is a slippery slope that leads to <laughs> Lance Armstrong's missing missing testicle. Okay. Adderall is a slippery slope that leads to a homoerotic volleyball montage. <laughs> Achieving the manual dexterity and technical brilliance of a 12-year-old Korean boy is a slippery slope that leads to amputees. There's your StarCraft reference. Your problem is, you know, I don't play StarCraft. There's too much micro. I can't do micro. Mm -hmm. um, although I am, I am a Top Gun fan, so... Yes! I'm on the board. Damn. I remember in... Oh, is that a Top Gun reference? That's just my Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What did the U.S. airdrop to the children of Af Afghanistan? Whoa. We got a lot of options here. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that would have been funny, too. A little more meta. But... What did the U.S. airdrop to the children of Afghanistan? They dropped science. But, oh, hey, chunks of dead prostitutes are back. <laughs> and the terrorists. They never go away. I mean, depending on what they're dropping, technically, 
It's science. <laughs> Precisely what I was thinking. <laughs> Damn. Because, you know, how else do you find what happens to a human body at about 10,000 degrees? <laughs> <laughs> Blank, that's how I want to die. <clears throat> huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Panty raids, <laughs> paying the good. iron, paying the iron price, or sexy Siamese twins. That's how I want to die. They are good. Paying the iron price. That's Game of Thrones reference. It mm -hmm. is. It we is. do not sew. I've been playing the uh, Game of Thrones board game lately. It's pretty good, but you lose friends. I can imagine in anything involving the Game of Thrones, you're losing friends. Yes. God damn it, he's, E. He's running away with this one. Yeah. Mm. He is the 1%. You he gotta, is. like, share that shit with the Roomba. <laughs> yeah, I get he half your point points. Be happy. Because I, I think I've given you two points so far, haven't I? Mm, Maybe. Okay, I might, I might give you one at some point. <laughs> Major League Baseball has banned blank for giving players an unfair advantage. I don't really have any good ones for this one. All those people are all natural, man. Everyone just has to always have a Chunks of Dead Prostitute card to play. Right. Major League Baseball has banned passable transvestites for giving players an unfair advantage. This ain't no League of Legends. <laughs> Finger painting. Taking off your shirt. What? If it's Shatner, then taking off your shirt makes sense. But this is Major League Baseball. Oh, yes. God! Every time! No! In fact, I'm pretty sure that card has been taken out of circulation. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was... Like, they took three cards out of the deck and replaced them in one of the recent uh, reprints. I'm pretty sure that was one taken out. Wow. Well, I mean, I can sort of see why, in a sense, but on the other sense, it's like, this is Cards Against Humanity. Yeah. That's right. I killed something. Hmm. How, you ask? Something. Pick two. But I kind of was like, you know, with the whole LOL angle recently, I was kind of like, you know, I'll play it, get two angles in there, All right. I killed Robert Downey Jr. How you ask? Google Glass plus e-cigarette ultimate combo. Oh dear. Uh, I killed stormtroopers. How you ask? Invading peaceful nations because they have gold. Hey, that's another one of your cards. I killed the profoundly handicapped. How you ask? Rubbing chocolate pudding <laughs> over Bill Cosby's nipples. No one was really trying that. <laughs> I thought mine was very good, actually. Okay. Oh, so I can avoid the very good one. I only have one point. We, we are, we're all pretty even. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm not on the scoreboard. I'm, I'm not actually playing. Just, <laughs> he you're monitoring. Some sort of divide <laughs> by zero error. I think I think it is Stormtroops. That's going to be Woo! massive. Okay. Damn, I really thought my Robert Downey Jr. and Google Glass combo was good. I was good. pretty sure the chocolate pudding all over Bill Cosby's nipples would have been it. Dang. What brought the orgy to a grinding halt? That's going to be good. Ah, that might work. Oh, no. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, so basically, like, Quill's aced this. We can just play crappy cards. <laughs> See? Metagaming there. As long as you don't get another point, E. No, as long as I don't get another three. Just three. Um. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've won that. Uh, what brought the orgy to a grinding halt? Lockjaw wiping her butt or kids with ass cancer. I went oh, with the Roombas. <laughs> Lockjaw. It had to be Lockjaw. I mean, Lockjaw was up that. there, but... I avoided the good one. God damn it. What oh, helps that's a Obama? All right. What helps Obama unwind? Hmm. Oh, I have a good card for this. What helps Obama <laughs> oh, unwind? Tripping balls, puppies, 
Domino's Oreo dessert pizza. Hmm. This is the second time that card's come up. I'm starting to get really hungry. <laughs> I'm getting the feeling it's sponsored by Domino's. Maybe. He did smoke pot in uh, college, didn't he? I think so. That's what I, that's yeah. what I heard. That's what I heard. Obama. Um, don't all Democrats? Don't all politicians that hide True. the information? <laughs> it, that you could just simplify that. Don't all politicians. Ah, God damn it. I need to yeah. not go for the obvious, what I think is the obvious answer, because it's always going to be him. Apparently, <laughs> my inner, my like, my perception of humor is too closely aligned with EE. <laughs> that shouldn't be a bad thing. That shouldn't be a bad thing. Gotta unphase it. Unsink it. So what did Vin Diesel eat for dinner? Inquiring minds want to know. Mm, I don't really have a... I don't really have a good carpet on. I'll just throw one away. What did Vin Diesel eat for dinner? A passionate Latino lover. God. Sweet, sweet vengeance. Well, movie Vin Diesel. The sweet, sweet vengeance would really work. God, how do you eat... How, do, how does one eat God? A passionate Latino lover. That would be that one. Hey! Yay! As long as it's not EE, -E, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be this about. direction now. <laughs> There's a Something. drop. There's a drop. Hmm. Preteens? Hmm. Hmm. These are kind of on the weak side. Yeah. My sex life. Oh, I know. It's a trap. Serfdom. It's a trap. Cuddling. It's a trap. I know my sex life is pretty good, but too much. <laughs> I don't mean to brag. But, uh, cuddling. Nice, Whoa, yeah, Roomba. that's what I would have picked you. Slowly but surely, you're coming back, sir. See, that's what happens when you have your, like, sense of comedic timing in line. It's mm -hmm. true. No enforcer wants to manage the panel on blank. So this is a PAX reference. The enforcers are, like, the security guards and guides and things like that. Uh... There we go. Did it? Did it go? Yes. There okay. It's weird because it looks like I still have the card in my list. No one forced oh, to manage. Say the... error. Oh. You don't have that card. No, but I bet you're just gonna say that next time when I try to play it. Yeah. True. yeah. No one forced wants to manage the panel on Sir Jorah Mormont's cerulean blue balls, okay. or being an attractive elf trapped in an unattractive human's body. Glory holes. Pretty sure no one in their right mind wants to manage a panel on glory holes. I already thought my head had potential. Which one was yours? Attractive elf trapped in an unattractive human body. It's another one that I wouldn't want to be a part of. All right, what is Batman's guilty pleasure? Mm. Rumble just got three in a row. What a comeback streak. Shh. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell oh, anyone. There's a theme here. <laughs> What is Batman's guilty pleasure? Foreskin. Everyone thinks Batman is sexually repressed. <laughs> Lactation. Does that mean like he would lactate? Because I can can he? It, you can hmm. milk anything with nipples. Men have nipples. <laughs> the female orgasm. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna go with the. Mm, no, I see. I, I bet. I bet. This is my guess. I think. I think EE e. is foreskin. I think that's his. Because that would be the one I would pick. Because I want to pick lactation instead. Yeah! <laughs> Foreskin was mine. Damn! The female orgasm is too good. I heard it was a myth. <laughs> Doesn't exist. No, that's the G spot. <laughs> All right. Speaking of, how did I lose my virginity? Yep. So how did I lose my virginity, yeah. you guys? I can't mm. remember. For some reason, I thought it was the cards off for a minute. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Do 
Just remember, the more you insult Quill, the less likely you are to be invited back to board game night. How did I lose my virginity? Full HD. What does HD stand for in this context? A disappointing birthday party. Or how did I lose my virginity? A mime having a stroke. <laughs> it's a rough one. I'm in there. <laughs> oh, another point to a Roomba. A real oh, bad one. No. It's coming back. It's coming back. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? They added a 5-5 five five with flying trample and what? Does it say 5-5 five five on your screen? Sorry, 6-6. Six six. All right. I can't even read numbers. What? <laughs> I'm broken. Flying, trample, and... That's a pretty potent creature, but it would be overcosted. It would be like 13 green. Yeah. And a black, and a red, <laughs> and a blue. And it would cost you 10 life. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? They added a 6-6 six, six with flying, trample, and grandma. Flying, trample, and crippling debt. Flying, trample, and racially biased sat question. <laughs> I like all of those. They're all good. They're, they're all pretty good. I mean, Grandma's probably the weakest one. Racially biased stack questions are always pretty good, but I can, like crippling debt works with the Magicka theme. It really does. Thank God. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I don't oh. want to end up in a, being in a Roomba in this game. Oh. No more be a Roomba. All right. While the United States raced to the Soviet Union to the uh, raced the Soviet moon, Union to the moon, the Mexican government funneled millions of pesos into research on what? I think I burned all my good cards early. All right. While the United States raced the Soviet Union to the moon, the Mexican government funneled millions of pesos into research on the decade of illegal inquests. Following a single hour of Grand Theft Auto. Sn sniffing glue. The little engine that could. <laughs> oh, ah! yes. What? Wow. The little engine that could. Come on. Yeah, like, <laughs> Sorry. Millions of pesos to research that. <laughs> Blank resulted in 200% over extension. Oh, I could have kept my crippling debt card. All right, E, if Enter Listen wins this, he wins the game. Oh, yeah. Although, Roomba is coming back. It's true. Sudden poop explosion <laughs> disease <laughs> resulted in 200% overextension. Or life choices resulted in 200% overextension. Or the rapture resulted in 200% overextension. Hmm. I'm not sure. I guess I'm, I'm probably I'm probably walking into it. I'm just probably handing the game to EE. They're, they're all Yay! pretty. They're pretty close. They are pretty good. I might have gone the Rapture. That would have been mine. Damn. Okay. <sighs> Press down, down, left, right, B to unleash. So I guess we're doing Street Fighter now. Yeah, but it's a controller. No one wants to use a controller. Keyboards. Yeah. Like I got a Xbox controller plugged into my computer for um, platformers. Me too. And a joystick for flight sims. Me too. Anything with driving, I have to use a controller. I hate, I hate keyboard for driving. Yeah, because the keyboard is just like full turn, no turn. Yeah. Like last time I tried playing a game like that, I was like, oh, it's got shooting elements. Cool. I use keyboard and mouse and it went, oh, get into a car. Immediately slammed into a wall and went, nope. Press down, down, left, right, B to unleash a nuanced critique. To unleash tickling Sean Hannity, even after he tells you to stop. <laughs> to unleash the imagination of Peter Jackson. Well, it's pretty good. Uh, I really like the nuanced critique. I don't know why, but it really resonated with me. No! no! <laughs> Tricked into taking it. <laughs> Damn it! That wasn't even a close game. Nope. He crushed. It was close on the bottom. Damn. Well, thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I think we're going to be playing, what, another I game or two? I think. Friendor is here, so he'll be in for the next session. So we'll, uh, we'll have another game up uh, s soon. Make sure you subscribe to everybody's channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye.